Hello everyone, how are you doing today? So I had to take a break from YouTube, but I'm back and I'm back because we have a new image generation model and this is a text to image model. This model is called Flux.1 Crea Dev. It is a derivative of the Flux.1 Dev model, the original one, and it's basically a collaboration between the Black Forest Labs and Crea. So as with the Flux.1 Dev, the original model, it is a high parameter count model. This one is 12 billion parameter. You can generate images from text descriptions. So this is a text to image model. The main point here is that this one can do cutting edge output and it can also do very high quality photography. I want you guys to pay attention to this here. It can do photography. So these are going to be the photography that you're going to see in magazine or some kind of professional photo shoot environment. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the images generated by this model. All right, let's take a look at a couple of images I've generated and you can judge for yourself it is good or bad depending on your own experience using AI models. So here's the default prompt and you can see that we have a really nice skin texture here. I think the images came out really well. We can see another example from again the same prompt, a different seed. Now change the prompt a little bit and here is a different character. So this one as well you can see that we have nice skin texture even in the neck area here. But notice how all of these images, and uh, here's another one, they all have the same pattern. We have the person, high quality, the background is pretty much blurred, what you will be seeing in like high quality photography or photo shoot. Here's another one, so I've tried to change the ethnicity and you can see here that we, we start to see a little bit of what we see in Instagram or uh, social media. So most of these, images from social media, they are photo retouch. So you take the picture, you get a camera raw image, you go back and then you start retouching it, maybe apply some filter, that's what you get. So these are all the same way. So if you're looking for high quality images, you're going to get a really nice one. So here's one with dark skin tone. And of course it can do male characters as well. This one I think came out really well, especially the beard and the mustache here, we can see the hair, the individual hair. So really nice quality here. Here's another one and it's, it feels like it's almost the same person. Here's another one, again, different skin tone, different settings here, but notice how they are all wearing like suits. So it's in a professional setting. Here's another one. And I've tried to mix things a little bit by asking for fantasy characters. So this is Elf. Here's another one. I'm sure some of you would try to get the cat ears or fox ears. It can do it. And I think this one is really good. You can see the skin, especially in the forehead here, really realistic quality. Even the fur on the cat ear here is really nice. So I think this one came out really well. I've done a second one. And this one, I've tried to point out semi-realistic in the prop. And it feels like somebody went into Krita and they start drawing. That's the type of image that you will get. So this one is more of a semi-realistic one, while this one is more realistic in my opinion. Of course, everyone has their own opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. I will have all of these images linked. So you can go and uh, zoom in, take a look at the images. All right, so I've tried different settings. This one, as you can see, more like a evil looking person. Here's another one. We have fantasy dragon. Here's another fantasy one. And I've tried doing things which are not human related, like we don't have a human in the image. And again, we come down to that um, high quality photography. So this one looks to be the type of image that you will see in social media where somebody go to that remote location or surreal location, they take some high quality equipment, take a picture, but then somebody rent it and they just appear in, the, in that frame. So the person goes back or use their camera raw filter, maybe edit out that person. And since they have access to camera raw, they are going to put the contrast a little bit high, 
decrease maybe the brightness to add more drama into that photography and maybe at the end do like a photo so that is the version that you'll be getting on social media and this is what this model is generating it's not generating what you're actually seeing if you were to go at that location in person and take a picture so here's another one i've tried doing animals this is one of the results and here's a an interesting one so this one i asked for an amateur photograph of a person running in front of a house and uh it gave me the house gave me the person but the person is blurred so this would be what you're like giving your phone to your grandma and your grandma doesn't know how to take good quality picture so just move around take a picture and the person is blurry so here's another one i've done again as you can see the person is blurry and remember I asked for the person to be blurry in the image. So it was able to do it. So here's another one. At first, when I saw this, I was impressed. I asked for a family of four having dinner and uh, we just have a simple photograph here. So if you are scrolling through social media and you see this pose, you'll probably give it a like. But the more I look at it, the more flaws I found in the image. So you can see this person here is looking at nothing. Maybe there's a ghost or something. This person is looking at the kid, but the eye level is a bit questionable right now. Again, this person is looking somewhere. We have a plate here, but there's nobody sitting there. We have some stuff happening with the hands here. So the more you look at the image, the more flaws you're going to get. And it comes down to the training material once again. So like it said there you are going to get high quality photograph but when it comes to these settings where it's more of an amateur photography you're not going to get good results it's passable but not good here's another one and again it, it looks good at first glance but then you start to find that the person is staring at nothing this person is i'm not sure what they are doing but otherwise if you are able to go and clean up the image i think it's very passable now here's the one that impressed me the most if this image was online and somebody was saying hey uh, 20 years back i was celebrating my birthday like this a lot of people would believe them so <laughs> you guys can go ahead and take a look of course there's there's a lot of things happening that is wrong in the image especially when you start zooming in but if you are on social media and just scrolling and you see somebody post this photo maybe just maybe you might give it a like thinking that it's real so let's come back to this claim where it said get rid of ai looks and this claim is basically about the flux where we were getting the doll like faces or like plasticky face so this is basically the flux point one dev ria model let me know what you guys think about it definitely try this out on my 4070 ti i have only 12 gigabytes of vram this model performs great and it takes about 25 seconds to generate an image once the model has been loaded so if you're able to test this model out let me know about your results let me know your thoughts on this model as far as my opinion is concerned i'm impressed by this which is why i'm making a video after such a long time but i'm hyped the last time i was this hype was when the flux model came out so this time i'm actually expecting a lot more from this model all right so thank you for watching until the very end if you have not subscribed subscribe it helps the channel you can also give it a like also share your thoughts in the comments down below and we can keep the discussion going once again thank you for watching until the very end have a nice day take care i will see you next time